Hello and welcome to the Bannercloud ID System Setup and Configuration Tutorial Series. This is the first of several videos that will walk you through how to set up and use our Premier Direct to Cloud solution. In this first video, we will quickly cover some important aspects about these systems, which include their default settings, the cellular and ISM radio coverage areas as it relates to the monitoring gateways that use Bannercloud ID intelligence, and how to use the model number tree to select the appropriate monitoring gateway for your application. Lastly, we will highlight the family of compatible nodes that can be used to gain critical data for your operation. In the next video, we will identify the items included with each monitoring gateway and construct the system by applying power to all devices and forming a wireless node network using our bonding process. Let's quickly touch on the variety of monitoring gateways that are available to you and the decisions that must be made and communicated via the model number scheme. The monitoring gateways for Cloud ID systems are by default intended to communicate to our cloud via Ethernet communication. However, we have embedded cellular modems within these devices to ensure that IT complications can be overcome if they arise on the first day. Therefore, you must select which cellular carrier is most prevalent in the region of your deployment. Verizon services are offered for those deployments within the contiguous United States only, and AT&T services are offered for all of North America. We also offer a worldwide modem for those deployments outside of North America. The next decision to complete for the gateway is the selection of the ISM frequency used by the radio module within the devices. The radio provides the backbone of the local wireless network that you'll create as you configure these systems. A 9 in the model number will indicate 900 MHz frequency range, and a 2 indicates a 2.4 GHz frequency range. Choosing which ISM radio frequency you intend to use comes down to two factors. The first is the regulatory compliance for use of that frequency in the region of your deployment and the second is the desired wireless range of the radios. Generally speaking, our 900 MHz products can be used in the Americas and have a wireless range of up to two miles line of sight when working with internal antennas, while our 2.4 GHz products can be used worldwide and have a wireless range of up to 3,000 feet line of sight for internal antennas. The model number tree shown illustrates how to communicate these decisions when ordering our product. The variables for selection are the radio frequency band and the cellular carrier. Please note that of the filming of this video, not all combinations may be available at this time, or more combinations may be available. Always consult our website for the current availability of models and features. Now that you've chosen the heart of the Banner Cloud ID system, it is time to determine the measurements you'd like to collect and the compatible nodes that are available to do just that. Shown here, are the family of nodes for condition monitoring and preventative maintenance. These nodes measure various conditions throughout your operation and will transmit that data back to the gateway where it is delivered to the cloud for analysis and alerts. First off, we have our vibration and temperature nodes that monitor the health and performance of mortars, pumps, and similar equipment with rotating motion. We have two form factors that are most notable an all-in-one version that incorporates the sensing element and the radio into one succinct package. Then we have a tethered version, which allows you to place the sensing element into locations where the access orientation is better served with a compact sensing element. Next up, we have our ultrasonic material or tank level sensor nodes that monitor the level or position of fluid and dry assets in tanks, totes, and containers. We have separate versions for varying depths, so be sure to consult our documentation to determine which model is appropriate for your needs. Then we have our temperature and humidity nodes that monitor environmental conditions in a variety of applications, such as refrigerators or chillers, warehouses and distribution centers, or clean rooms and incubators. We also have two versions of a temperature probe sensor that can be used to measure temperatures in key areas or processes like air and liquid handling applications. We have a single probe for those cases that just require a single data point and then a dual temperature probe for those situations that also require a differential temperature measurement. For example, the supply and return air of an HVAC system. We have universal pressure nodes that incorporate the use of a tether pressure transducer for measurement of air, gas, and fluid pressure systems. Be sure to purchase the wireless node and the appropriate range of pressure transducer for your application. We also have similar nodes for differential pressure applications 
like filter and vacuum lines, HVAC and duct pressure, or other low pressure applications. Again, be sure to purchase the node and the differential pressure sensor that best suits your deployment. And last but not least, we have our current sensor that uses a current transformer to measure current draw, helping to reveal issues with critical asset performance. Use this sensor to understand variation of power consumption throughout your operation and determine areas in which there are excess or limited behaviors. Banner Engineering will continue to expand this family of nodes that are compatible with the Banner Cloud ID systems. As of the filming of this tutorial, the models I have just described are available now. To identify the entire list of sensor nodes that may be currently available, please visit our website and navigate to the wireless product section. Then use the Cloud ID compatible facet to filter the list of products down to only those that will be recognized with these systems. For more information regarding the technical specification for these systems and their compatible products, please visit BannerEngineering.com.